Yo, what is happening everyone? It is your boy Ilo and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make yourself a Roblox render. So basically a 3D render of your Roblox character which you can use for GFX, for profile pictures, for banners, all those sorts of things. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to be notified every time I upload. I will be trying to upload more tutorials to this channel so stay tuned and hopefully you do enjoy this video. Basically to start the rendering process of this you do want to go into roblox studio i'm pretty sure everyone has this if you do have roblox then you definitely have roblox studio installed unless you deleted it basically what you want to do is go into the studio itself and click on a base plate basically what this will do is start loading up a little place where you could start building and basically you'll be presented with this screen over here now what you want to actually do in the studio is go to your plugins tab i will leave a link in the description for the plugin i'm about to show you basically this is a free plugin so you don't have to pay robux for it and and this is what you're actually gonna do everything with it's called moon animator basically once you do have this plugin installed to your studio you want to click character inserter and then it'll automatically be on your character if not then you just want to type your player ID over here your ID is basically these numbers right in between your profile so you just want to copy that if it's not already there next you want to make sure r6 is checked and you want to click insert and then it'll say inserting and then your character will be in your game now basically from here you want to click the moon animator itself and it'll open up this little screen for you you then want to click file new animation you want to set a name for it so i'm just going to call it video i'm going to confirm that and then basically you'll be set with this track right here and in this track you want to click plus and then you want to basically move this out of the way click your character make sure rig is checked and click ok okay so i actually made a mistake here you do actually want to delete this sorry you want to delete your character you want to actually insert it again we want to do it as an r15 not an r6 that was my bad r15 gives you more options to animate so then again you want to open up the moon animator file new animation again i'll call it video confirm uh so it's already in use i'll just say one and then basically you want to do that again and then do the same process click that and then make sure your rig is checked click ok and then as you can see we have way more options to work with this is where you can start doing whatever you want for this video i'm going to do a waving like render so my character is basically going to be waving so what i'm going to do is just show you guys a quick little time lapse of me doing this and then i'll show you guys how to actually render it out So that is basically what I made in under like a minute. Obviously, I'm not claiming to be the best render or animation maker, but basically this is what I made. If you do want to delete something you made by accident, you could just highlight over here. As you can see, they all highlight. And then you want to go to edit and then you just want to click delete. I'm not going to do that because I like what I made here. After this, you do want to go onto your explorer tab. If this is not open, you want to go over to view and then click explorer. And in the meantime, you can also open properties if you do want to. Over here, you'll see your character right over here. You want to right click this and then click export selection. Now, it is recommended to have on your desktop a file that's called Blender stuff or something about Blender so you could just you know keep everything organized so as you can see on my pc i do have a blender stuff folder you can see all my renders here these are just of my previous renders that i use for thumbnails but basically for this one i'll just call it video render and then i'll save it onto here and as you can see that selection has now been saved and now we can get onto blender so feel free to close all this you do not need to be here anymore okay so for me i actually use an older version of blender uh not a lot of people do so basically i'll show you guys how to actually get it you want to go on the blender page itself then you want to go basically scroll down um i think it's somewhere here you want to go to download uh and then you basically want to click on previous versions and then as you can see you want to go to all previous versions click the download button here it'll send you to this page it might look a little weird but basically you want to go to version 2.78 it's quite an old version but i feel like it's best for what i do like it's, it's the easiest for rendering so basically you just want to go here and then basically you want to download uh 278c and then basically you can click whether you're windows 32 or windows 64 
uh, that is basically up to you. You will know that for your computer. Uh, if you don't know, you can just pick one. I, I don't think it will do that much of a difference. But make sure it is 2.78C. Obviously, I'm not going to download it now because I have it. So basically, I'm just going to open a Blender. And then from there, I'm going to be showing you guys what to do. So as you can see, when you download that version of Blender, this will pop up. It is a pretty old interface. But like I said, I find it is the best for how I use it. Like it, It's the easiest for me. Basically, you'll be brought up with this screen. You can just click anywhere to close it. Then basically you'll have this little box here. You just want to click on the delete button on your keyboard. Sorry, I need to unselect it. Click the delete button on your keyboard and click delete. And then basically you'll be with a fresh screen right here. Now, once you delete that box, you basically want to go onto file and then go to import. And then you want to go to wavefront.obg. Okay. Sorry, I meant to say wavefront obj, not, not g. You then want to go on your blender stuff folder and you want to open up the obj of that file. Because when you export your selection, you'll actually have an MTL and an OBJ you want to open up your OBJ and then as you can see you'll basically see nothing but if you click the middle mouse key on your like on your mouse so basically like the scroll wheel and you click it down and move you can actually move the camera and as you can see your selection will be right there you then want to use these arrows to move it somewhere to the middle so I'm just gonna move it there uh, and then I'm gonna move it to the middle like this and then basically here is your render now obviously it is gray uh, obviously you guys don't want it gray so basically I'm gonna show you guys what I do a lot of these little like render options I'm gonna do are actually inspired by Creecraft so his link will be in the description if you want to watch his video this is basically just an update to his video even though it's basically like kind of the same thing uh, he didn't use the moon animator though I did so yeah guys shout out to him but yes what you want to do is actually go here this will be the first screen you see you want to make this 4k i feel like it is the best to render in 4k because you could use it everywhere so that is basically 3840 uh and then you want it right here 2160 that is basically 4k resolution you want to make this to 100 so just click it and then scroll to the top 100 uh then you want to go over to shading where it says alpha sky you want to make it alpha transparent so your background will be transparent so you can use this render wherever you want you then want to click this plus on the like top right of the screen to your left you want to scroll down you want to go to textured solid as you can see that is what will give your render some texture then you want to go to ambient occlusion and that'll basically give it all that shadow which makes it look really good last step is you want to go over to this globe right here click it you want to go to ambient occlusion, environmental lighting, and indirect lighting. This will just give the lighting for your character. You can mess around with these settings over here. I usually don't, uh, but you can. Uh, it is all up to you. Basically, this is where you'll basically be done with all like the, the settings. You want to go back to your camera, and then you want to not click render yet, okay? You want to right-click this little camera on your like workspace. So right over here, you'll see this little thing that looks like a camera. You want to right-click it with your mouse. Then you want to click the zero button on your numpad. So on your like number pad on your keyboard uh, where all the numbers are close together, you want to click zero and then basically this will open up the camera. You will probably be confused on why you can't move the camera yet. You want to click shift plus F and then basically you can now move it using WASD and moving your mouse itself. As you can see, our render will be right here. This is basically the position of your render, how you want to actually position it. So I usually go a bit higher than the render itself. So I'm basically looking at it from like a bird's eye view, just like this. And then basically I go to the left a little bit. So I'm looking at it like that. So it's usually looking to its right. So I'm just going to do it like this. I'm going to capture a bit of the legs as well. So like that, I feel like that's good enough. And then you want to just click left click on your mouse and then basically you'll be able to get out of there then you just want to click render this one i'll start rendering your character uh, it could take like like 10 seconds uh for some people it could take like a minute for other people as you can see for 4k mine literally takes like 20 seconds uh so mine renders pretty quickly but as you can see the lighting now is very good from the example that it showed previously as you can see it's all rendered it's all smooth uh, as you can see mine is done now so now what you want to do is actually click on image and you want to click save image once you have saved your image you could just close out blender like you don't really need to it'll say some changes have not been saved but if you have saved your image then they will be saved so you could just click ok 
And then as you can see, this is my video render. This is the render we just did. Obviously with a white background, it doesn't really look the best because half of my character has like white decals on it. But that is basically what we've made. You can then put this into Photoshop or Pixlr, anything you use for photo editing. And you can make yourself a cool profile picture with this. If you do want a profile picture video, tell me in the comments down below and I will be uploading that to show you guys how to make yourself some Roblox GFX. And with that being said, that has been the video. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you did, smash a like. Send this to all your friends that need help with rendering. And I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Peace out, guys.